Spring will be here soon and winter is a great time to plan your garden. Some important questions that you should ask yourself are, what am I going to grow? How much space do I have? Should I buy seedlings or start my plants from seeds? If you have limited space or only need a few plants, then buying already started plants is the easy way to go. Starting plants from seeds is more economical, educational, and fun. It is so important to start your seeds at the right time so that you can transplant and harvest at the correct times. Check online to find your USDA plant hardiness zone. Here in Essex County, your, our zone is six. The seed packet is a great way to start. Always check for how much time is needed for planting prior to your last frost. Here in Northeastern Massachusetts, we can still get frost up to late May. Today, we are going to start some best boy tomatoes, bell peppers, and cauliflower. They all require planting six to eight weeks before the last frost. Many people use Memorial Day as a guideline for transplanting. If you plant outside earlier than May, make sure to watch the weather just in case there is a frost. Early to mid-March is usually the best time to start these frost sensitive plants. I like to use planting trays, inserts, and a seed starting mix to start my seeds. Most seed starting mixes are made up of sphagnum peat moss, perlite, and a wetting agent. It's a good idea to put the mix you are going to use in a bucket. And add water until it is moist, not soaked. You should be able to squeeze some in your hands so it forms a shape, no water comes out of it. I like to press it down slightly so it is firm. Read your seed packet to see how deep your seeds need to be planted. These need to be planted a quarter of an inch deep. Do not worry if you put more than one seed in a cell. We will thin these in time. It's always a good idea to use a plant label to keep track of what you have planted. I like to use a humidity dome to help keep my seeds starting mixed moist. I will take this off once the seeds have germinated. Different plants require a certain temperature for germination. Most will do fine around mid 70 degrees Fahrenheit. A heated seeding mat will help keep your trays warm if need be. Water regularly, make sure your mix stays moist, not saturated. If it's too wet, your seeds can rot. Place your seed trays in a south-facing sunny window. Once your seedlings are growing, you may want to rotate your tray to help your seedlings get equal light on all sides. A grow light could be used to add additional sunlight. When you're ready to thin your seedlings, read your seed packet for the best time. This tomato seed packet says to thin when the plants are four to six inches high. I like to then put the tomato seedlings in a larger pot like these pea pots. Remember to have fun starting your seeds. It is a rewarding project for one and all. Make sure to stop by the Essex County Co-op for all your seed starting supplies. Or check out our new site, essexcountycoop.com. Have you seen the co-op lately? 